Let's solve a problem together to build our math sense and problem solving skills. For more information about this series and me, then check out this video, which will also be linked in the description. As always, every time I ask a question, please remember to pause the video and try and answer it yourself before we move on. Calculate one plus two plus three plus dot 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 plus all the way to 36. Can you try it yourself first? As always, we want to try and think of a way ourselves and find the formula ourselves by understanding the logic using small examples. If instead our question is one plus two plus three plus four all the way to plus 10, then how would we do this? Well, we can consider the following. If we add the first and last together, we get 11. Why do we do this? Because we have the sense that then if we add the second and second to last, we get the same sum of 11. That means we can keep doing this to pair the numbers to sum up to 11. But then it becomes a question of how many pairs do we have? Because that will be how many 11s we have to add together, right? Because then we just do the number of pairs times 11 for the answer. Well, the number of pairs is just going to be the number of numbers divided by two. So how many numbers are there from one all the way to 10? In last time's video, we found that the formula was the last number minus the first number divided by the increment at which we count. Here, the increment is just one and then plus one. So there are 10 numbers, which means that the number of pairs is 10 over two equals five. Therefore, the original sum here equals five times 11, which is 55. Okay, so now that we have this small example down, we understand the formula to use for larger numbers. Essentially, we can find a formula using that logic for any n. In the original problem, our n was 36. So the sums that we have are always going to be n plus 1. Last time, in our small example of 1 plus all the way to 10, our n plus 1 was 11. That was the sum we always have. So our formula is going to be n plus one times the number of pairs. And what is the number of pairs? That's just going to be the number of numbers you count divided by two. And for one all the way to n, it's always gonna be n numbers you count. So that's why this is the number of pairs Therefore, our formula is n times n plus one over two. Then it's easy for any n like here, we just plug it in. So here our n is 36. And this I encourage you to always multiply by hand. But anyway, the answer will be six, six, six. Practice problem. Calculate one plus two plus dot 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 all the way to plus 123. Instead of just directly using the formula that we just found, try to start from scratch and find the formula yourself first and then use it to solve this new practice problem. Next time's problem, how many acute angles can you count? See you in the next one. Bye.